This is how that nigga sound. You get back to today, yeah. boy. That Come on, man. Right on time. Come on. Yeah. Always there when you come. $84. Oh, hey. Nigga, send the per diem. You think I ain't finna get it back? Hey. That me. <laughs> baby, baby. Fuck that whole baby. shit off at Kroger by myself. Hell, yeah, 84 oh, on some goddamn oh, impossible oh, meat. I'm I'm some, <laughs> I fuck it up on stupid shit. I bought three phone charges. Like, they long. Like, <laughs> they long. <laughs> Nigga, I got one for the house, one for the car, one for the room. <laughs> yeah, them, uh, foot like phone charges for no yeah, reason. Shit. More than culture is the brand. This yeah, the podcast. This is strong ass nigga from Come no the Secret Genius. Remo Rock. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan. Since we talking about Walmarts though, nigga, yep. nobody got nothing on any player in the planet. I don't give you let me take my mask off. Y'all can hear me. You, you. Nobody got nothing on Panola Road Walmart. Ooh, no say something. Walmart Turn up. Say you something. Right. You right. You right. Say something. Behind okay. the BP, nigga. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, right. Yeah, I know. Oh, my bad. I'm just gonna talk to the camera. Right yeah, off the exit, the buddy. That's what they Ooh, cast it. That's what they cast it. Right off the exit. Tip drill in there, I heard. On Mamas, I seen uh, Buffy Shut the Body in there. Buffy the Body. Remember Buffy body. the Body? Hey, you know who else was Coop. in there? Eddie Long was signing books when they first. Opened. <laughs> <laughs> I, man, we, Real we, fact. <laughs> that shit down the street does it, man. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, it was like a pause. I you know, bet like, that shit was jumping too. Yeah, yeah, but bro. Like, if you had to pause before you said today, we could, we would have never guessed that shit. <laughs> I mean, Who you, else you know what there? though? You know what though? Little baby, you think man, y'all they niggas about bad, Bishop like, Long though, bro? Yeah, but I was, know. I came through like my god brother been part of the church for a long time, mm-hmm. and they, and I went when they was the the small church. What street was y'all? Nigga, in? off of uh, Snap Finger. Snap Woods. Finger. The First of all, Eddie Long. It wasn't small. Eddie Long. No, it was a small. It was before. It was before the build. It was the yeah. It was the chapel. It was big though. Oh, over there. You was over there that early. I was my, over there my, that my, early. No, so I'm talking about time. My god uh, brother uh, moved to uh, moved from L.A. to Atlanta in the tenth grade, and then um, he went to Norcross and started going to that school. So I would visit him sometimes in the summer. You know, you got to go to church. So that's what the first the first time I would see him at the church when I was coming over here to visit. So you know, t- y'all the same age? Yeah, we in the same grade. grade. Let me guess the year. That's ninety six. Mm. Mm-hmm. What's 96 Jam? Those are the Jordan 10s. Oh, when ooh. he came back, those when he had water 45, mm-hmm. came back and scored 19. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Random Ronnie facts. <laughs> hey, are, are, are we denying uh, the flu game for some great player? Huh? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> nah, it's different. <laughs> great, great segue, Remo. So if LeBron had coronavirus and then you know he won the championship with it, championship, <laughs> uh, sweat team. I see what you're doing. You. Yeah, but the nigga would be the greatest of all. But if my, hey, but when Pippen was holding Mike up, he ain't he wasn't risking his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's different. You gotta put it all on the line if we gonna go to war. That nigga got also, corona. we really want to talk about it. Y'all know what Mike was doing the night before. Right? Hey man, yeah, dude, I can't wait to see the series yeah. on here. Mike and Dennis Rodman was getting busy, man. They was that motherfucker listening to the goddamn not, not sex. I mean like no, 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 no. partying. Yeah, just partying. Oh. They listen to goddamn Return of the Mac. Hell yeah. out. <laughs> That nigga said, who I got them all? John Stoddard? Man, pass me another goddamn boy, 40. Up, boy, if you don't roll up, nigga. <laughs> I got a guard. Havlicek, man, move. Uh, I mean, Hornacek, man, move. Check. Hornacek. <laughs> I got Hornacek. Hornacek with a fucking hangover. Move. Yo, so, um, <laughs> some niggas speaking of the jazz and Corona. Oh, good segue. Great segue. That's how you do it, Remo. Them niggas said they not fucking with your boy no more. Who? Oh, Gobert. Yeah. Rudy Gobert? They said, nah, he can't come back. No, up. he can't. Oh, <laughs> he the one who started the whole shit. He started he Corona. Was reckless. So Rudy, all right, he everybody. Start Corona. For everyone that's, oh, everyone that's like Remo, here we go. Let me help him out. Thank you. Athletic Real quick. Shit. Set it up. Set the the NBA's up. first oh, player to be tested for coronavirus and have it was Rudy Gobert, Utah Correct. Jazz. Correct. Um, from France. Actually was actually had a had a uh, dinner days before in New York with some people from France. Hmm. Um, and, uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. They was playing the I Knicks. I know that. And uh, he was out there. He was able to met up with his people from France, da, da, da. So, you know, mm. once the coronavirus comes out, he Rudy Gobert is fucking around. He's like, man, you know, I'm not scared of that shit. And it's touching everybody's stuff in the locker room. Oh, come on. Touching man. the microphones for the right. people that Yeah, he did that stuff. shit the at a press The microphones conference. at the press conference yeah. and shit. He's touching them. You know, people just put, like, their, their recorder up there. He did all that shit. Like, they phones like, and all that. Like, intentionally. Like, yeah. touching everything. After a game and shit. Sweat. Nigga!
already. So like knowingly, he, he didn't know. He no, he didn't have it. No, he didn't know it yet. But we just saw that. But yeah, but he was doing it mocking yeah. the spread of the corona. And it was at the height of the beginning of the spread. So Why, then bro? Donovan Mitchell on his team catches it. Because he was walking around doing wild shit in the locker room. Both of them got reckless. them slapping it. So everything. now Donovan Mitchell is like, fuck this dude. I'm never playing ball with him ever again. <laughs> I will kill this nigga if he gets in my way. And I get it. I get you risk like, my you life. Die, bro. I don't give a fuck what you know, bro. Right. These niggas became rub buddies. <laughs> Man, why you, first, and then as an adult, I, I, I don't like people <laughs> touching what me. Come? Rub buddies. Rub <laughs> buddies. <laughs> 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 So goddamn funny. Bro. But shit, yeah, he, 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 he get Donovan my man Mitchell was not laughing. But it took for a nigga named Donovan to get it for everybody to take it serious, though. That nigga gave it Period. to the world in my eyes, nigga. You started. You a patient zero, nigga. You patient now, that's real zero. talk, because when the NBA, NBA shut down, that's when it really was over with. That's yeah, when people really took when, it serious. That's when people was like, oh, shit. Even because a nigga named Rudy stories. Gobert got it, it didn't seem like a nigga until a nigga named Donovan. Once a nigga named Donovan gets it, man, when Donovan, nigga man Donovan but got it. But he's doing shit, shit that they told us in the fifth grade, stop playing all the time. Mm -hmm. What Carlos said, quit touching shit. Quit and you could have not touched nothing. Right. That's what you could have did. You could have you put your hands on sit your time. head down and be an adult. You a whole hoe out here, nigga. <laughs> you make millions and you came in that fucking plan. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man. The governor of Nairobi sending out stimulus packages. Okay. Great segue to Tyler. all his people. And niggas <laughs> <laughs> killing Remo. And um <laughs> And uh, he put Hennessy, a little fifth of hen. And hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a hold minute. Up. <laughs> the president? <laughs> governor. I think he's, he holds the title of governor of Nairobi, of Kenya. Mind, bro, I was about to say, But still, nigga. I mean, that's, yeah, shit. You don't, you don't know how. They like Keisha Lance getting everybody a 3 5. She slit really. want to. I see it in her eyes. I see it in her eye. Like, boy, I let, I leave a lot of weed if they want bullshit. If they want bullshit, I let it go. Somebody should the, definitely the approach her. I they think they have. Amsterdam. They need like yeah, somewhere clearly you can just have. do all yeah, the drugs. They, they decriminalized. If you throw a three five in every American mailbox, what? it'd be so much easier to stay home. I'd be in the neighborhood. It'd be so many mailboxes quarantine? getting broken into. And that's fine. <laughs> and that's fine. You gotta because do the you same know who day. Don't smoke. You know how hard it is to break into a record. You have to go claim the three five, but they have to deliver. Mm. I don't, you gotta put it in the app. I don't, I don't think I was smoking no government three five. I, Hell no, nah, that's the vaccine. <laughs> that's how they gonna do the vaccine. <laughs> that's how they, we need to break it early. Hold on. Hold on. All right, boom. Conspiracy theory. So do it right, man. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so boom. Mm. They're gonna give us our stimulus, then they're gonna give you a care package. Inside said care package is gonna be shit that niggas like, and it's gonna have the vaccine in it, aka weed. They're probably Shh. gonna have a filterless black and mild. So oh, probably... Filterless. <laughs> they're gonna have it in two tampons. <laughs> <They're probably laughs> <laughs> Them niggas gonna put some flame hot Cheetos in there, and Flaming all of that gonna have the vaccine. Niggas be like, y'all don't wanna take this vaccine. You already did, nigga. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> 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 They gonna put it in fake gold Cuban link. <laughs> and she gonna melt in your skin. No. Boy, I'm put they that shit. Put in in every time butter. you sweat, they gotta put it in them little Migos <laughs> chains too. The they gonna put it diamond in chokers. Every, yeah, every pair of jeans with stripes on down the side. Oh every man, I'm done. Jeans. I'm done. Well, yeah, you ain't never gonna have Corona then. I'm done. And if they put it in any type of jeans, Remo is gonna be a billionaire because all he gotta do is gather up jeans. <laughs> Bro, I, I got the antivirus with plenty of years of jeans, baby. You yeah, put up some old jeans. Then get rid of. $9,000 jeans. Come on, bro. I just got to re dye the jeans, bro. Just sold the whole. What's your bro. most prized pair of jeans? Let's get into it. We haven't seen them. I'm you sure know what? Have. The most prized pair are the ones that I can't wear no more. Oh, man. For your size or? or no, they just up. they just fucked up. They just been worn. What are they? What are they? Hey, tell us. I bet we know about the description. No, I, I bet y'all know. You can guess. Hold on. Let's get, let us guess. Let us guess. Let us guess. Let us guess. Don't guess get, my guess, jeans. Because I've been, I've been least. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. All These right. niggas are playing uh, guess my jeans. Guess the guess jeans. The jeans. Put it in the graphic.net. Guess the dinner. Guess the busy jeans. Guess the jeans. Guess the busy Um, No. I think it's the ones that you wore with your knees out to match you. With my knees out to the, the ones that you the ones that you chose to wear during Ramadan. <laughs> I didn't to the see those. What color they were black? They was light. They really the real light blue. You and had he, your knees out he at walked, the mosque. He walked. He Did walked I really? The yeah, bro. Yeah, you were sitting. I remember, this, like, story. I remember I this story. Bro, you were you sitting you? down. Indian, Indian style, trying to cover, <laughs> trying to cover his kneecaps with his he hands. He told this on the Ramadan Ding Dong <laughs> yeah, episode. He did. <laughs> oh, 
yeah. Is it them? <sighs> he got to think again because it might be his favorite. I think, <laughs> I think it's the one that the shit split a little more. It was a little more. It was a little too much thigh. <laughs> That nigga had them goddamn Lizzo jeans. <laughs> 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 what color though? They light, they're light. they light blue. They like, I think we talking about the same I ones. I think we talking about they the same. They a bit more. <laughs> it had a little bit more thigh out. He was like giving it up a little. I was like, boy, you take I your ass on p and that goddamn crosswalk. Them, bitches, <laughs> them jeans gonna activate, nigga. Hey, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> them jeans gonna activate? They gonna activate. They gonna turn blue, nigga. Boy, <laughs> hell no. Gonna, you gonna start floating. They just gonna take you to a nigga house. Boy. Boy. Hell no. <laughs> hey, nigga. I think it's the ones. You know, my birthday passed, and Remo posted a picture of us from like four or five years ago. Right? <laughs> Research. And, 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 and I said, I said. It was on the story. It was, a, it was Wait on a the, minute. Uh, I believe it's a story. That shit's still up, but that's oh, hilarious. It's still up. It's a story, but it's from a post. Oh, Boom. damn. How far I got to go, though? I mean, you know, I ain't got that many. I archive. Yeah, you get them right. Hey, yo, so check it. Yeah, show me the pic. Oh, you found it? Come on. No, I'm gonna find it. Oh, so the niggas put the he sent he sent me that. I'm like, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I said, I bet those jeans are somewhere in a close proximity. And then he replied to me, I have them on. Oh my God. Nigga, what year was the picture? That nigga sent the picture with the jeans on. <laughs> He made sure. Let me make sure I got these on to commemorate. <laughs> oh shit! That's hilarious. Mm, man, I, it might be yeah, in, my tag. in the mirror. To my pew pew pew. <laughs> that was a pew 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 error, boy. <laughs> Let me minute. tell you so. Hold up, it's killing. Wait a minute. And you said the pew pew pew. Uh, That's hilarious. Yeah, I think it was a story. Finger swipes down. Seven swipes. Yo, so did y'all see what Doctor Oz said and Doctor Phil? Hold on, they got beef. Yeah, yeah, bro. The uh, whole I just woke up. The internet right was here. just giving it to him. Yes, them. Yo, <laughs> friend. Hold on, before you keep going, we we didn't find out this is the most prized pair of jeans yet. Oh, yeah, I think I, I think that's probably no, number two. No, these newer. No, I think those is newer. number two. But this is funny though. <laughs> that's them jeans look like uh the big you know how big bird legs look with the rings around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you remember them, uh, them blue and Carolina? I mean, them blue and uh, white. Hey, and <laughs> Jordans came out. <laughs> I just That's got the jeans niggas Jordan gonna wear in space, bro. Them like real, you know, space jeans, future space future denim, <laughs> NASA denim. When fat denim dudes wear them, I get so mad. I get upset. Bro. So hold on, what are the jeans? Um, actually, I have grown to love a pair that are disheveled a lot, mm -hmm. but they have different patches in the disheveled. It's like mm -hmm. they might have a checkered, you know what I mean, a little pattern. One might be green. I was going to say that. Yeah. I was going to say them. Okay. Yeah. The one with the patches. Patch patches. The one Lori said, oh, Lori said it was all right. Mm -hmm. She, no. she said what well, with, with a solid top. With a solid top. I knew it was attached to a woman's compliment. It had <laughs> <laughs> this is the one the stylist chose you for my saying? body style. You know what I mean? That nigga, them just instantly became his favorite. <laughs> I knew I picked these. Boy, you dudes. just rose to the top of the cream. <laughs> no, nah, but the, I, I had those light skin joints. Light skin joints. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Them light skin jeans. <laughs> like, respect to the light skin jeans. Oh, you shit. feel me? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, damn, yeah. damn, damn those jeans. Like oh, no. Damn those jeans. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny, man. That nigga, that's the uh, segment called Damn Those Jeans. Yeah. She tell them to play in there. Her I'll come again. Trap you. treats. Thank you. Is, trap treats is coming, guys. She's in route. Who's, Who's eating chicken amazing, again? Yeah. Who's back on the bird again? Hey, a lot of people Who's are. They that said, what, what they say about the meat ain't gonna be no more meat, right? I heard a lot of Corona niggas was getting meat at the. I mean, a lot of Corona meat plant workers was getting. A lot of meat plant workers was getting Corona, so they right. had to like take oh, all shit. that meat off the off the deliveries. Damn. Well, goddamn. So a lot of places only got the meat that they've had. Don't think I'll be eating. Uh, the weed now. Hey, the man. weed wings. You know, it's good then for the birds to be able to eat. Remo will be done sopped all the skin off all the sauce off what? Of the goddamn chicken. I don't know. It's good for the birds What's to what? Here? Yeah, we ain't been together in a while. Our yeah. chemistry is fucked. Eat, eat, eat the sweets. <laughs> what? Out of earth. Listen, bro. I I i I just really don't know what you're the fruits about. and the berries, bro. All right. The veganism. 
And that part. Oh, I get it. So niggas is going to move them off the meat back to that. I heard pollution is down like a damn near 50%. Ain't that amazing? So I was saying the same thing. I was like, man, this is the world, like, this is the world's punishment. I had to ask my mom, like, how old was I when um, she stopped beating me? She said, like, 13. So the world been getting whoopings. We've been getting tornadoes, hurricanes, fucking earthquakes in in the in the country. Shit like countryside, tornadoes in, in the city. Enough whoopings, enough whoopings, enough whoopings. Obviously, we wasn't paying no attention. So now you get put on punishment. Sit your ass down for a couple months. And then the world, the world, the world gonna fix itself. They say the water is more pure. Animals are like like literally honing back to their own habitats yeah, own habitat. where people have knocked the trees down and shit like they're coming back because they know that's where they're supposed to be type yeah. shit you know what i'm saying so you know there's less cars moving around less noise and shit less pollution man so i think it's just a reset calling it a sh- slingshot season man you know what i'm saying you just get pulled back pulled back pulled back pulled back but once they let go pow, that bitch gonna fly you hear me and it's leap year as fuck that's crazy yeah it's- we got to leap this year we got it bro this year done got leapt Boy, that was dude. That was deep. I hope we cut that by itself. Yeah, That's man. gonna be a thing. <laughs> Posting that. Yeah, I'm at home thinking a lot of shit. Man, I'm glad you get to think. Yeah, bless your hearts, shit. both of you guys. How your brain doing, brother? How are you guys doing? How's your mental health? Yeah, still mental health check on our parents. <laughs> I'm all right, man. I ain't even going right. out of you. We gotta do a mental health check on Kamal's kids, actually. Yeah, right, right. Like, Kamal's yeah. cool. His kids fucking can't stand him. <laughs> <laughs> I think his kids love him. Yeah. They love him. But you know, you can love somebody and not fucking stand them. <laughs> Actually, that's how you're supposed to love somebody. <laughs> it's like a little bit you kind of don't like them. A little bit. <laughs> they keep it too right. Yeah, for the most part. I told y'all I heard Ronnie kids curse the other day. He tried to let him hit, though. What? No, no. This nigga Ronnie on FaceTime <laughs> with me and shit. We talking and shit. I was like, man, his kids tired of him. He like, hey, y'all put that up, put that up. I heard him. I was like, all right, nigga. I swear. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it was Clark or Campbell because they were both standing there. That's so funny. <laughs> So <laughs> <That's old> shit. <laughs> Them little niggas about to leave. They are growing up. <laughs> Them little niggas finna hop in the truck and bounce yeah. on y'all. <laughs> they know how to drive. They, Don't know they like they, they know. Can't six they can't wear They can't wear their own ass good. Hey man, it's a lot of grown ups that can't. They good. They still drive. They, they out I'm here in the still, city. They still like, Dad, come wipe my butt, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you ain't ready to do nothing. You, you ain't ready to get dad. out in this world, young boy. Uh, come wipe my that's butt, please. Guys, that's when it get real. I let Clark sit in it for a little bit. No, sit your ass down, nigga. You gonna respect your daddy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Remember when your ass itches? Nah, but serious though, how, how, how you uh, how you maintaining? I'm good, man. Mm-hmm. We had our Doctor Phil days, and uh, I just figured out I got to go in my truck mm-hmm. and sit down. Do you think this will be like better for the family? Because it's like you know they have a they they uh, they used to hate when you left. Remember that shit. Yeah, they still <laughs> hate when I leave. Like I'm, like, I'm going to Kroger, fam. Yeah, yeah. they still be Daddy. Daddy. Oh, okay. You know, it's like, damn, but, but then when you be there, they be like, that is. Yeah, it's still weird, though, because it's like the bill's still coming. So you're trying to make plays on the phone all day. Like, right. I don't know what y'all doing in the daytime. I don't know, like, deferring. Mm-hmm. You, I'm de- I'm just saying, I'm still trying to, you know, I still, still got shit going. So I'm no, I'm saying you should be deferring, like, like uh, deferring your bills. I am, but I'm saying. I'm oh, you was like, asking what we was doing. What were you doing? On no, the no, no. I'm just saying, like, booking shit and, mm-hmm. like, trying to figure out shit, the next moves and mm-hmm. all this other shit. Like, I. I had a specific game plan for my next four five. Months. You know what this shows me too? This is this is like I be thinking niggas be having like they're like, yeah, I'm gonna use this room for an office and I always think that's such a waste, but I see it now. Mm-hmm. I see what it's good for now. Like if you have yeah. to stay home and get some shit done, if you're on your couch, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, uh, yeah. I used to I always had like a studio in my house. Every time before I had kids, I mm-hmm. always had a like a man cave studio kind of all the sneakers in there around yeah. the room couch. Yeah. yeah. You can smoke in there. Cause I'll always be recording like something, skits, mm-hmm. something making beats, you know, just fucking around. Now that's yes, the car. <laughs> now the car's your studio. The car is Leather and Wood Studio. <laughs> Leather and Wood. <laughs> With salt weed it. Pull on up. <laughs> but yeah, man, I kinda it's just a lot of self evaluation going on. Come oh, on, okay. talk be, about it. I'll be fucking up too. Self yeah. eval. That's yeah, what we get into. Come on. <laughs> it's just, Let's just, get into it. Just figuring it out what, what you be doing and what you could do better. And it's you know what and I'm it be real small in the grand scheme of niggas that's dying right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not so for it's real. like, I, okay, I can just mm-hmm. do this and I'll be, it'll be all right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? It's just. You know, niggas, it's, when the shit is uncomfortable, because mm-hmm. it's like it's been the same way for years, but it's like something got to change, you know. 
to elevate and grow. Success is right outside. A lot. <laughs> success is right outside of your comfort zone. Is the old saying. So right, that's what I'm help. saying. That's what I know. You know, and just seeing my wife grow as a person and goddamn like she killing. Look at nigga, see me, and I'm like, yes, you're right. Sir. I need to see you. And I need to help out. And I yeah. Need to do this. And so it's like you know, okay, get it, got it, self. What's up? What What's are you gonna up? do? What are you gonna fucking do? You know, so. <laughs> I learned that the only acceptable place to say midget is in porn, and I'm not sure why that is. It is still printed. Yeah, you can't write. You can't put little people, little persons porn, and you're gonna get some weird shit. Trust me. No. Midget porn is man. still acceptable. Little. And the only place that you can say the f word still is in battle rap. Did y'all know that? You could say the f word for gay people, like the gay. The f word for gay people is in battle rap. They still say it today, and nobody says nothing. So, those are two but like, could you, you? But it's a lot of dudes inside. Also, the grandma rap. porn is like kind of different. But wait a minute, the battle rap shit. Huh? You can't. You gotta be hot. It's acceptable porn, because it's, it's no be gay dudes hot in there. Probably grandma porn. Yeah, yeah, because like when we were younger, if you typed in grandma porn, it's some different shit was gonna come yeah. up. But it's like grandmas are women. different ages these days. So grandma porn is a little better than you think. Like I'm just helping all my people that's running out of categories. This ain't really for y'all. Everybody's running out of categories. <laughs> Midget porn still Or is acceptable. it just that you're getting older and the grandmas don't seem as old to you? I mean, I am getting older only because I look at a lot of I look at a lot of stepdad porn. Now that's when you know you're getting older. Oh, shit too weird for me. The type of stepdad. Yeah, the whole yeah. the whole step category is just I, yeah, it's like it's like when you see it, out. like you know it's fake, but it's like yeah, such and such in his mind. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah, that's awesome to see that. that. I understand all niggas with kids feel that way. I get out. it. Right. I get it. But <laughs> I don't even like I, teen. Let me tell I you who doesn't see. have a kid that is gonna take care of that for you guys. Right. I don't even like to see this the word guy. teen on the page. I'd be like, oh over here. I'm not, not teen. I don't never look at teen shit. That's just that that feels weird to me. I don't even like it on the page. Nah, it'd be like it'd be like step step uh daddy porn. Hey, that's the same shit. Yeah, no, she doesn't have to be a teenager. That means that you, the dude, is she, with her. She the always, dude married a mother, and she has an adult fucking uh, uh, child. But she's always coming home from something useful. with no draws on. Everything. I mean, I, I saw a good one. If y'all want to talk about it, <laughs> which uh, one? Uh, she was coming home from a strip club, right? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And her mom Word. didn't know about the shit. <laughs> so, she, so you know, she probably wasn't no teenager. Her mom, her mom, uh, her mom didn't know about the shit, and he was like, "You want me to keep it a secret?" Oh, he that's have to get them oh, he was balls. being toxic. Wow, wow. He's, like, he's not a real person, fam. Oh, I know it. This is a movie. It's I like, like my porn actor. I don't be trying to think about toxicity when my dick I is know, out. I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> but Tyler is hilarious. This nigga got to have a good script for the jack off. <laughs> I need to get build up so I can build with it. That's the right. Yo, in me. what's the liner? Yeah, man, what's going on here? Like, I, I need, I need some type of flow. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> like, yo, no, but the the stepdaddy shit do be having good shit because like the first two or three scenes they don't even fuck. Like the first scene he catch two her doing some wild scenes? shit. My nigga, they do, they drag they cut, that they cut out, bro. Yeah. They introduce her. So shout out to X videos. They're like the cliff notes of all these porns. Because most porns are like 30 minutes long. And they just give you the highlights. I so, fuck with the highlights. Appreciate yeah. So, that. so you get your highlights. In the stepdaddy porn, the highlights are, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you a full length feature, guys? Yeah, I mean, features. Oh, man. No, your I, dick I, hates I, you. No, have you discovered, I, I discovered just click. <laughs> they got saying? a whole just 4K section is fucking Extra HD, you like, welcome. Okay, this Sometimes is, that's kind of that's a yeah. lot. It's a lot when they got like bumps on their butt because the bumps go. are it's, so yeah. seen. <laughs> well, I mean, most most 4K porn, I, I shout out the makeup artists. They do a decent job of like covering up the blemishes because 4K with a naked body is just gonna be. I don't give a fuck how bad you are, nigga, because I know I don't want to see mine. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> should. That shit is all cell cellular. I clicked on one nigga and <laughs> Whoa. the nigga had it was the girl. It was the dude on top of the guy. What? Hold on. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. So I think you, I mean, I think you messed it, it up. It was a porn, right? Right. So I <laughs> it on was it. a porn, yeah. right? And it was a dude on. And there was a girl and a guy, but it was a it was the angle of like mission regular missionary, but they right here, and I'm hmm. like, you know how you click on it and it just start too soon. Got you. The nigga had the biggest boil on his ass, <laughs> and oh I was like. God. I was threw up. I was like, I'm okay. Not no porn today. That's what we. Mm. All right, I think I'm through. Mm. <laughs> like, these mm. niggas be 
Mm-mm. He didn't be sick, bro. I know the editor was fucking Ooh, disgusting. Bro. That nigga watched that shit for four days. <laughs> you gonna keep shoot? You gonna shoot today? Good yeah. Bro. I was like, bro, I'm gonna need an extra three grand just to even get this done. Yo, I done threw up seven times. Yo, you giving this bitch hepatitis? <laughs> hey, that's right. I'm working nigga. from home. My son is here. That's when that nigga take that Viagra shot. You, you know what I'm saying? It swole up. Content. It's a Viagra shot. Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get it how you live. Some of them niggas be taking shots. I never heard of that. Yeah, some of them niggas like like how football. Players I know they take taking shots. something. Yeah. Niggas Man. be taking shots. Them niggas was in a regular hojo. Bro. What is like, the long term effects of Viagra? It's got to be something. You can't see or, hurt or, or hear, right? That's what I heard. Long term of- Nah. <laughs> she I ain't heard your that. sight and your hearing. For the dick. For the dick. For the dick, bro. Hold on. Tell me what? You, you can't dick? see or hear. You gonna need you can LASIK? fuck something. Yeah, yeah. And you gonna need dick, to hear. Dick still gonna be hard. You gonna be blind and you deaf. Be blind. I get a dog, my nigga. I ain't no. I don't think that's what I was asking. <laughs> you ain't never read the box with jungle. <laughs> Uh, I ain't never had a box. <laughs> I never so take your, it back. I'm sure to you. Like, I, I, I'm just he surprised the younger the nigga. Now he got an uncle. <laughs> All of a sudden, this nigga got a family. He just got a uncle. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this nigga pulled up on an uncle rap right fast. When he start talking about Viagra, To be fair, this nigga uncle. does have a twin cousin. <laughs> <laughs> we just found. So that's fair. That little nigga was, is live too, man. Shout out to your little cousin, man. You talking about the evil Remo? The evil Remo is in this. Yeah, what you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. We like, hey, we like, hey, we shooting, up, we shooting something, that nigga man. Got the waves. He's looking hey, right at the nigga. camera. What's good? I'm, you know what I mean? Y'all niggas gonna follow that me. That nigga had black boy sweating a little bit. Yeah, he did. <laughs> no black boy head. He was DJing at first. You know what I mean? Like, you touch my equipment, classes. man. Before the nah, before the Aries AF show. Don't touch my equipment, man. Before the Aries AF nah. show, uh, he pulled up when he was DJing. Oh my and god! And Black Boy was just waiting in the wings. Oh y'all niggas got. <laughs> nah, I'm not even, I'm not even, even on the flyer. Right. Shout out to Black Boy. Shout out to DJ Black Boy, man. He yeah, does so much. Oh, shout out to Black Boy. You are sure. a hard person to tag, my friend. I'd be like, nigga, where's yeah. Black Boy? And that was some real shit. On the ground. Uh, yeah, but it's, even the even the the number of L's and C's I never get right. It's probably so many Black Boys though. He probably had to go deep into his bag. To get his name. What you about to say, bro? Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I said sometimes you can go on his page and find some gems. And- oh, he puts the... Hey, listen. He listen here, posts I'm the a, baddest yeah. joints. And some of them be having like some, under 10,000 yeah. followers. like 3,500. I'm right. so appreciative for them. Bro, yeah, you sick. know I hit them DMs immediately. <laughs> That's an immediate The fact that you be having a shot. Chris, All right. So no, let question. me have... If I, nigga. No, no, no. Question. Go. How many pictures or Instagram vibe does it take before you think it's not a catfish, uh-huh. like they were, they were like talking to you, or you just looking through pictures? Just, just like you, you first glance on it. If she got like, I'm an expert. If she got like seven pictures, it's if like she has zero robot. videos speaking. It's a catfish. She has zero speaking videos. Catfish. So if, just any, if all her videos are like boomerangs with the hearts and the filters on it, catfish. Catfish. She ain't said one word. Catfish. You mm. gotta see her talk. You got because look, even on her the lives, catfish yeah. joints don't want you to hear them talking on the thing. So all the people that they yeah, hitting yeah. up and talking to on the phone, they can they can yeah. match the voice. Okay, mm-hmm. that's a, that's a jewel right there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. What else I need to know about Instagram? TikTok. I am deep in Instagram right now. I know everything about that shit. Tell us the algorithms, bro. Boom. Re fucking set your phone. Reset your phone, jump off Instagram, log off. If you don't like your algorithm right now, log off the algorithm. Blah, blah, log off, delete your app, re put the app on, log back in. Your algorithm should be different. I don't know if it's going to be better, but Instagram rewards you for the amount that you use it. Like, you know, at the top of your profile shit, where you see how many people have been on your page the last yeah. seven days yeah. since i've been doing like since i've been doing the on going on live at least at least once or twice a day yeah, sure. um for this long like i went from having six it was like it used to be like 6800 people that would see my shit and now it's at like uh 17 000 per day Jesus. they see it. so it's, i think it's because of that i reset my shit a lot yeah. and um and instagram award b simone told me that a long time ago instagram reward you for using it Come on, yeah, using said, all of it. She said that on here on the podcast. You yeah. What now? Like what? For using this, she said that we was in the car together. Remember that day she was, we was going to that show and we had, <laughs> had we was waiting on her because she was late. And she lost her. Phone. She lost her phone and shit. Yeah, but she was like, if you don't po- if I don't post three times a day, they're gonna fuck up. It's gonna fuck up my algorithm. Mm. So her number was three. So you know what I mean. You gotta find your number. 
Shout out to B, man. Making that M before 30. Yes, that was. Oh, she dope. haven't made a million in a month. That shit's amazing. Yeah. Because yeah. they said they got the last like 300,000 in like four or five days. Like, it was like the fans. Mm hmm. That, that shit is so inspirational, man. She's a genius. <clears throat> Not from day it's one. Like, <clears throat> uh oh. Like, if comedians uh -oh. could tap into uh -oh. that. Three. How do you do? No, I didn't. Nah. <laughs> it was some oh. Oh, how was your date, man? I don't know if y'all know, but Kamal oh, and his yeah, wife went man. on a date yesterday, hey, yeah. quarantine date. And I said, I be doing shit like that, but you'll be want to come to the truck. And he was like, nigga. <laughs> That's what my wife said when, when she told me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is currently going on. I be fucking up. No, nah, it was cool, man. It I was cool. But, um, went and got some uh, some Indian food. From this little spot that we go to, got some takeout. Tried to go to a parking lot, but the shit they had it blocked off, so you couldn't get to the top. Damn! Wow. Um, Crackers. Yeah. So we, happy it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> but we found another little spot to chill, eat the Damn food. It. We was watching. Um, Knife Wonder had a homecoming set on his live that was dope. So we chilling, had that shit on the. Uh, the phone. Little drive in movie date, man. Mm -hmm. Get out the house. This nigga's killing Get me the husband. Out game. The I'm, crib. I'm, not even, I'm not even mad at him. It's me. Nah, y'all y'all got the whole family shit going, man. Bro, yeah, you had the, the fashion show shit got to come back. Yeah. That shit was funny. Was yeah, that shit was dope. He put on his shit. He was happy. Yeah, man. I think I I'm, he put on that suit. Jacket. I need to participate. I was busy that day, but I got yeah, some I shit. Yeah, like, I house. like it when people had their they regular shit on, like the worst shit. Yeah. I got my shit. We could do it like uh, QVC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying you gotta bring it back. Anyway. But yeah, man, I gotta step it up. I ain't even thinking about dating during the quarantine. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, we gotta go together and still like each other. Mm -hmm. What you got? Well, let's help. How can we help? What what's, no, what's some dating gotta, ideas, fellas, that we can help? Ronnie no, with? I can do. I can do some. I know what I'm doing. I okay. Gonna put some some candles on the table and all that. You know what I mean? Get romanticized. Some, she likes hello. You know what I'm saying? Hello, Trap hello, treats. Hello, hello. Get Trap romanticized. Treats. Right there. Trap treats. Can we, you want to shout out? You want to shout out okay. your uh, Instagram? Come on. Got trap treats in the building. Appreciate you. Come on, call four times on that mic. But go ahead. Yeah. Um, my Instagram is uh, trap treats with a Z Man. underscore ATL. What did yeah. you bring? Could you? What did you bring me? Yeah. The wings, right? Yeah. I brought all y'all to stuff. Thank I you, everybody. Right, right, for everybody. I can't come in there with nothing for nobody else. What's your uh, cash app? Keep those cold. Those are the these, these are the grapes for Anita. Ooh -wee. I was told to save some. Trap grapes. These are high. Brown. Hey. Stoner Mom. brown. I brought some cream. What's your cash? What's your you, cash app? You, you, got, you got to look at this gentleman right there. Him and his wife have a... Uh, I'm finna just tip. I'm finna tip you something. I'm sending you something. Brother. They don't pull up on me with nothing. The goddamn water concentrated got the shelf. Yo, look at that. See, that's what I did. That's that what I be doing. Oh, no, you, you can get whatever. That's what I be we're doing. We're fine. Oh, He's friends. Oh, He's friends with us, guys. Don't worry about it. We're not being, uh, we're not being accosted we're not by being a random dead. homeless man. By a random <laughs> homeless man. Uh, Who the fuck is that? Right, right. <laughs> Say what now? Oreo. Okay, Oreo. Schmo. What's up, bro? Triple. Mm. Yeah. Triple. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was told to take it easy. I read your comments. All right, all right. They say, yo, you... <laughs> They say, yo, relax yourself, B. Yeah. What happened? They, they say they shit is super strong. Yeah. Uh, this shit is super I just, I just what's what first day you here in a minute. Uh, you said, Those I got are yours. Your favorite. All right. Hot, honey. What you got, man? You I, you done seen me a few times. You yeah. ain't never said like, you can have something for me. What's, what type of grapes are those? Yeah. All the goods so that go in them. Bro, what's good? Oh, look at that. That's a real lemon pepper way, too. Look at that. Nah, I got some gummies on stick. Come on, I don't know if you're back in, but. These infused? Yes. Oh, you ain't never had her mama wings? Well, you know, I don't eat wings, so I was just asking. Oh, you do, you can wings are good straight. I'm with it. Oh, for real? Wings are good without the wings. And we do grapes, too, for the vegan. For the vegan. Oh, that's for the wife. Yeah. Yeah. Need to grab some grapes. That's what I'm. That's what. I, that's the date I'm finna do. Those are crack grapes. Yeah. This is how my date night gonna go, Tyler. There you go. <laughs> you got it right on time. We started with Adam. Yeah. Right on time. All right. I'ma see. 
Be safe. All right, man. Appreciate right, your help. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. That's for real. Track Thank treats you. in the building. Treat. What's that, a brownie? Brownies? Yeah. Damn. That's the Oreo. This the s'mores. What this is? My wings? Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. We got the power. We got the power. Yeah, this type of shit I be eating. Hell yeah, man. Shit. <laughs> this nigga that was smashing fun. a wing. If anybody's listening to this podcast, that's Ronnie eating one of Tasty. Tr- this feels like treats. outside to y'all, don't it? <laughs> that's ASMR. See? ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm going to call my channel, ASMR. How you spell R? How you spell R? <laughs> can't bring food around high niggas. That shit, that shit will destroy yeah, a podcast. Yeah, I'll be in the <laughs> to the sink. <laughs> This nigga like ate the wing in the mic. He ain't even he ain't <laughs> moved the mic or nothing. Like a puppy, nigga. I sat down in front of the fireplace <laughs> and grabbed that bitch on the car and got, <laughs> yang, yang, Christmas morning. Nigga. Yang, yang. <laughs> Christmas morning on the the fresh mm. pig hide. Why are we swapping people out, man? Shout out Eternal Water holding oh, us down man. through this whole quarantine situation, man. This mm. shit gonna keep you live, but mm, man, for real. They yeah, dropped the right. prices. I seen it in the uh, in the in the stores. I see a lot of Eternal Water and Kroger now. So, mm-hmm. good price, great water. Yeah, get you some water delivered yeah. to your door, man. Thanks to Eternal Water, my throat is used to greatness. Pause. Jeez. <laughs> keep it at? Okay. It's keep it. Right. Are you gonna so keep right. it? <laughs> Thanks to Eternal Water, her throat is used to greatness. <laughs> see how we fix that? All right. Fix that. All right. It's easy work. All right. Easy work. Oh man. Great throats all around. Mark that dot. Take one and take two. Take two. <laughs> Mark it. <laughs> that wing was kind of good. I see how they get you in there. Man. Got this refly fried blunt. Let me see if I can. Refly blunt. So listen, guys, we gotta come up with the 2020 blunt smoke session rules for our smoke session for 420. Mm. It's not gonna come out in time, is it? This episode can't come out in time, can it? For 420? No, no, it's 418 right now. Yeah, that's it's not, the turnaround is crazy. All right, let me do another segue. <laughs> so our 420 sesh, guys. What? Crazy. Stupid. <laughs> Insane. What did we do? Smoke weed in the camera. Every day. I was inside my house and my kids were awake. So there. Because <laughs> it was at a regular time on a Monday. You know what I'm saying? I was probably going. I'm making sure I'm running to Kroger on Fox. I was telling Kamal this before we started filming, man. Like, people were asking me, you know, didn't it suck to like quarantine during my birthday? My birthday was actually pretty live, but yeah, man, it's going to suck quarantining during 420. I'm not going to lie. It's, bruh. That is a community day. Yeah, man. It was so many events and shit. And then man. the 420 was so lit last year. We had to do that show in Ohio. And I was like, nigga, this year I'm getting a hoodie it was made. Cold too. <laughs> We I was cold ass Ohio last 420. Mm. Tyler got some people married though. This dude, hey. he booked us basically the proposal. Yeah, he did. That's dope. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. He said, hey man, do you think in the middle of your set you can stop with your flow and your rhythm and uh, shout me All out? All the jokes you worked on your whole life. And make give me a chance to propose to my wife yeah. in the middle of your shit. Hey, crank up the energy way before when the photo <laughs> headliner come on. Make it make it go crazy. Now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want Ronnie to do it because that'll be too long. I make want it go you to stupid. It. Make it go crazy. <laughs> Hope we make it hard for him to go up. <laughs> nigga, I had to follow them shit. I'm high as hell at a goddamn a trailer, a two story trailer. Club. My nigga, it was so fucking cold in that green room. <laughs> Yo, so how was your um? You did a show on Zoom for a college. How, how was that? Mm-hmm. It, it it turned into a nice little kick it session. It was like uh, the advisor was in there. And she was trying to do something for the students and just keep the morale up and stuff like that. It was called uh, Texas Women's College. They have a Find out all the stuff about their school. They got a little chapel on their campus that people come to get married on. So, uh, just trying to right, find out stuff. Or just the people that work at, at people school. that go to school. It's like men and women can go there, but like most mostly women go there, oh, and they okay. still have people in dorms that still living on campus. But uh, only one girl tapped in, and her it was her, her girlfriend, and their son. And it was the girl, the advisor, and her boyfriend. And it was like one of my agents, my agent's assistant. It just turned into like couples night in there. And I was just mm-hmm. talking to people in the room, basically. You know what I'm nice. saying? It was just like asking them how they quarantine was going and what you, what you drinking all. Y'all can drink. I was like, it's the first college show I can drink at. You know? mm-hmm. I don't have on no draws. Like I was just saying shit, <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. And, For an uh, hour. Yeah. I did. Uh, 
That shit was cool, man. Yeah. We did the uh, show on my birthday too, man. My, oh wow! My uh, birthday show was pretty lit. I think I, we had a good time. No, yeah, that was fun. Had as the fuck, DJ man. Kamal got down. Kamal killed Tyler's. I heard Anita listening to it in the other room about the, you keep making the quesadilla for your daughter. Oh yeah, man. Dude, that was just that a real funny, fucking bro. story. That nigga that said, just "Tell the story again, Kamal, for the people that didn't see my live." <laughs> people didn't see my life. Nah, but we was just talking about the kids and how um, they really run you at a certain Boy, point. I heard that like, shit. It just you don't, you know. So I was making a quesadilla for my daughter, and like I cut it wrong. Mm. <laughs> what is a wrong cut though? Because she's very particular about what she'll eat. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Even so, if she ain't buy it, <laughs> right? So I know. cut it, and right. I was like, "Fuck, man!" Like. Should I just go ahead and make this shit over now? Because <laughs> she's not going to eat this shit. She's going to trip. I was so disappointed because I just cut it a little crooked. You know what I'm saying? Just a little, just a little uh, crooked on the cut. She's uh, like perfect triangles. Oh, oh, oh. Shit ain't a perfect triangle. She's, she's doing bad. Well, she she know what she doing. Depending on what I had here one or not that day. <laughs> this, nigga was about to, this nigga was about to remake a whole case of deer just so he could cut well, it you right. You said that it's I saw Cut it right, bro. When you said I saw my son just break it down, <laughs> I was like. Then right earlier, in, earlier in that day, me and Camilla had went to the store, mm-hmm. right? So the older kids fed them, fed the babies lunch. Damn. And so as soon as we walked back in the door, she said, uh, "Amara said she's six. She said so." Uh, <laughs> Terry didn't give me no chips with my sandwich. <laughs> 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 Terry didn't give me no chips with my That's sandwich. That's so cool. Talk to your child, my nigga. And I was like, so, I mean, I, okay, so what What are you, what you asking me for? She was like, I think you should give me some Cheetos. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think you should give me the some crunchy. That's what I'm asking for, nigga. The crunchy kind. The, the crunchy. crunchy. Right. You the daddy. Why you don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> right. She hit you while you was in the store? Nah, that's nah, as soon as we walked back in the door. She ain't said, hey, y'all. Yo, she skirted on that she nigga. She didn't even find out if you had it. Garage. She was like, so, uh. <laughs> so, uh. She had already got fed by by his older dog. I know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> no, it was chip. It was we didn't bring the specific. chips back. The chips was there. Oh, she was okay. like, was... so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> Terry didn't give me no chips for my sandwich. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you some, that she get tall real. enough, she all in them cabinets without your permission. I'm going to tell you now. I called t- Cam- Campbell on a chair going on top of the refrigerator to get it. So I said, boy. <laughs> He said, you, I can get, what, do you need something that? Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, you you try to down, nigga. My blunts is up here. Oh, man. Ooh, these kids <laughs> is crazy, crazy man. Watching y'all's kids from a distance, man. From a, they get big, too. This yeah. I done had to buy new shoes, nigga. They done grew out their feet big. I'm mm. like, boy, these niggas are going to kill it's me. It's cave here. growth, man. When you can't get outside, you grow faster. <laughs> That's how cavemen nah, they have. We have a good time. They, just, they like up. them there. They just like to jump. They only like to jump on me when I get on the phone. That's what we had to have that talk. Like, mm-hmm. nah, listen, we got to. Like I see y'all. Yeah, Anita was like, "You're you, you, you're distracted. You did your phone. They want to talk to you." So I'm like, "I'm here with them. We play and do shit." But mm-hmm. you know, you're great, Dad, man. Both yeah, good. you guys, man. Yeah, both of y'all. Thanks, great, man. Straight up, great example. Good guys. Kids man. are awesome. The ABC Mouse fun though. I will be on that shit now. ABC who? <laughs> ABC Mouse. What's that? What's that? It's a subscription thing. It's like kids could be like help him learn and shit, like school mm, with okay. games and a storyline. Right. Oh, so basically, teachers are probably not going to be needed anymore. They been had ABC Mouse though, oh, but, but now people are discovering. <laughs> My nigga, we had it before, we never used it. Let mm-hmm. me tell you something about these um, kindergarten teachers. <laughs> tell us the truth, <laughs> secret. Are they right miracle now. workers? They, they ain't. Um, they wasn't prepared. For this, I'm sorry, bro. I put one that I had that I had bit off on back in there because I didn't have a table. I had no napkin or nothing. Ain't call for it. That's a free one. I mean, not a free one, but that I ain't putting that one. Ain't come on, call for it. No, finish your story, bro. 
Um, no, nah. <laughs> I forgot what I was even talking about. What was I talking about? Kindergarten yeah, teachers. Kindergarten oh yeah, teacher. kindergarten teachers, man. I don't want to interrupt no more. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, <laughs> bro. This nigga should be in Harlem they, Nights, bro. They wasn't prepared for this shit, man. <laughs> they ain't had no fucking. Um, they didn't have no road game plan ready. They was ready for home games only. They have sent us. <laughs> A different version of the same worksheet <laughs> for, for three straight weeks. Oh, nigga, man. they be watching Netflix. What? <laughs> God, nigga. Bro, it's like it's they've been um, adding to ten, right? <laughs> Every so, day, <laughs> nigga. How many different ways can you? Add that to takes 10? a day. It's not very many, mm-hmm. right? So you got to fucking they draw a picture. It's like draw a picture with <laughs> it's like Tommy had six apples and four got taken away. Draw how many apples were originally like so you always drawing ten or something. It's the same shit over and over again, man, for three weeks. So tens. Ten, bro. So it's kinda like if your teacher was to ask you to write a report about your favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> shit is retarded, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Dangerous Minds was out. They were trying to connect with hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> nah, your teacher didn't give a fuck, man. You heard it right. Another public school, man. I'm Ronnie telling you. said his teacher made him write a report about his favorite fucking song, and he did. Uh, she said, I want y'all to write a report about your favorite song. That's, that's it. cool. That was a cool assignment. We were that's like, oh. fucking trash. What do you t- you don't want she kids? That's a fucking trash assignment to any teacher out there that's thinking about doing that if shit. That is fucking like trash. Write, Tyler, he was maybe. fucking thirteen years old. If a kid does I not mean, like to write, I mean, it ain't the whole semester. Want, it's just one little. About. That is a horrible fucking assignment. Damn. <laughs> what would be a better assignment, <laughs> nigga? Write about a uh, someone that changed the history of the course of history. Someone that Tupac, a bitch. business person. No, he wrote about I get around. Fuck out of here. She didn't say right. If she would have said right about Tupac, that would have been fine. That, see, but your works. favorite song, so niggas came in there with motherfucking Tupac. the cha-cha slide. <laughs> no, I know bro, niggas is writing is about like, trash. This is like 90 foot. When, the okay, only person that would have did good at this 90, report 90, is Remo 90, because 90, he would have did uh, he did the outcast song <laughs> with the trumpet. And that would be the only report I want to see. But everybody else, <laughs> fuck your favorite song, man. She just was Listen, trying to get man, over that day, man. Your had, teacher went shit. Oh, maybe, maybe we wasn't shit. It was niggas that was not reading on the fifth grade level. You know, <laughs> like that's a fact. You can have a whole classroom full of niggas, and you test them right now. A lot of them niggas was on goddamn third grade level that's in true. the seventh grade, that's and, true. and, that's and they niggas. had. She had. I'm like, I'm just telling you, it's forty niggas in the class. Mm-hmm. Seven of them niggas is certified killers mm-hmm. right now in yes. the seventh grade. Right. Beards. Got a car. Got a car. Mm-hmm. So, like, niggas was getting their ass whooped. Teachers was getting their ass whooped. <laughs> so, a motherfucker might have assigned what your favorite song is. Uh, sh- pop uh, pop Smoke in the Back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could think of a good fucking bully name. But yeah, rest in <laughs> peace. Niggas was knocking teachers the fuck out at my good. goddamn middle school, bro. <laughs> like, this shit got, it was like. <laughs> hey, you know, you know, probably, you, you know why they probably was knocking teachers out your school? Oh, Here you go. Them bullshit assignments they was handing out. <laughs> they were like, why you giving up work and shit, bro? <laughs> man, shout was, out to my teachers, man. Y- y'all didn't California do no shit like California schools was way better. Way like, better, bro. Everybody yeah. I know from California, they come to Atlanta, Atlanta. Nigga, they be like, what? Shit, easy as hell. My <laughs> nigga. Shit, seven years it is, ago. It did, like, some, sometimes the schools be so bad, it's like, if you good, you finna get an eight. If you just be quiet, it's niggas that can't. Read today, nigga, cause they was just quiet. yo. They put me in AP honors, bro, and I didn't see a black person, a black per- When I first moved from LA to South Carolina, they put me in AP honors classes just cause of how that shit worked out. Cause it was like it we went from third, you know, I went from a place that's third in education to fucking forty eighth. Right. Yeah. And in the country. you went to school with J Cole. <laughs> I was in South Carolina. He in North Carolina. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm way older than that. Two different Carolinas. <laughs> right. But um, so you went to school with Petey Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> also, also North Carolina. North also a different Carolina. That's a good age joke, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. They said you went to school. <laughs> Look, Shawty went to school with Petey Pablo for real. No, Shawty, he said he worked at UPS with Petey Pablo. <laughs> he told me that That's shit. That's so different. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. I just thought about that. <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute, nigga. Shawty is 60? No, no, no. Shawty Petey might Pablo be. Damn near 60 because, you know, he spent like 10 years in jail before we got to know who the wow. fuck he was. Like, Petey Pablo was old when North Carolina came he out. He was in his 30s. old in the face. Yeah, now. he was in jail for a long ass time before that he did be that around here somewhere. Hey, bro, you that nigga was in drum line, bro. That nigga was like, bro, it was a big deal, bro. He came out in a fucking uh, Bentley when they was like new. On the field, on the yeah, field, he had, bro. He had rhinestones on his do rag. Pity yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he stole Jaheim. He still Jaheim play look, that though. shit now. He yeah, definitely he stole Jaheim. Everybody stole Jaheim. Look. Huh? Everybody dressed like that. All them RB, all them. Oh, that's Jaheim. Any rap nigga with a the, the beaded, uh, beaded bandanas, the bedazzled bandanas. No, I think Cisco oh, that was doing that shit first. Like, well, Jaheim made it popular oh, the bedazzled bandana for a thug. Not in real life. It was <laughs> not. Nah, remember, he was outside singing with his shirt off. All the hoes thought he was like a thug. That was his whole. And then they ain't had no top teeth. And they was <laughs> Bro, cash <laughs> money. I never. They were see the face. <laughs> That's a do rag and a bandana is different. I don't think you should be dazzled either one of them. Yeah, you so, shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. He made it popular and it was happy. I, I like miss that. I, I went fucking with that, that one. Shit. I miss that all together. That was with the do rag. Yeah. Okay. Just caught whatever was happening. Damn, I'm trying to look it up. But yeah. That's crazy. Please find it. Yeah, man. Y'all teach that, you one shit. <laughs> that was, that was, was the man. That was the <laughs> It's easy to say that now. Bro. Yeah, that's why I said it. <laughs> what am I gonna be over here saying hard shit for? I'm not ridiculous. Why am I saying hard shit. For? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. You think I'm preposterous, Ronnie? I'm not preposterous. <laughs> I'm not preposterous. I'm just gargantuan. <laughs> Wrong word. What was your Whoa. best GPA in school? <laughs> in school? Did you have any of it? G- GPA? Yeah, what was your best running GPA semester? Best running GPA. <laughs> That's a nigga that didn't do well in school. Oh, oh my God. GPA. Hey, what was like how your GPA ran? <laughs> Concurrent, nigga. They was behind each other. Hey, wait, what was your concurrent? <laughs> hey, what was your top five GPA? <laughs> hey, what's your what's your uh, your great? Uh, <laughs> hey, what's been your best moments in school? Oh my God. <laughs> That nigga wanna let my joke live, son. You know what it is? All of it's funny. After all of it. Oh my god. Okay, oh here my. we go. We gotta start with you now. Hey man, no. You gotta answer that first, nigga. There's no way. I felt more accomplished at this one moment. All right, talk about it. I had a three, one, two. A three or how long? Two. A semester or a year? A semester. A semester. A semester. Oh. Oh. Hey, what, School what, ain't for everybody, man. What was your activities though? Like, why you? What was keeping you from being great? You, mm. was, you was playing something. Or? Four lunches behind each other, then bam. <laughs> Four lunches. Like, you know, ABC lunch. Nah, that's every school. Were you going to all the lunches? We went to all of them. I went to lunch. What kind of nigga shit is that? <laughs> it's cool. No, it's no, not. It's not. It's not, not like cool. It. Like, bro, I'm cool because I don't go to school. <laughs> can I tell? <laughs> can I tell you there was a like that, bro? I'm can I like, tell you the large percentage of chicks that was tired of seeing you at lunch? Hey, bro, <laughs> it was different grade. Here he come. He exactly. Come and, and then, and then they like, yo, if this fucking ninth grader don't get out of my seventh grade lunch. <laughs> no, no, no. It was the ninth grader trying to get in the twelfth grade. <laughs> Shit. And then got, oh, you wanted you was that nigga. Oh, bro, yeah, nigga. So he also <laughs> was eleventh grader in the ninth grade lunch. Oh, if he was going to all the lunches. No, the creep no, spectrum no, no, is no, no. it's only ninth grade. The ninth grade. And Where did you fall on the creep spectrum? Then I went to goddamn a different school. I had slick got kicked out of band. Mm. And then I was like, man, fuck this school. What school you went to? I was went I went to Southwest Cat. Rewind button. First, slick like, guy kicked. Hold on, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me get this. Hold. Can you remember what no, you no, about to say? All right. <laughs> nah, I know how it be after a while. You forget. Um, let's see, I don't fuck it. Oh, nigga. nigga. How'd you slick get kicked out of band? Man, the GPA thing caught into effect. <laughs> thing? You mean the rule? Caught into effect. The rule that that I'm that saying I'm trying to paint eligible. the picture, baby. This the late nineties, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit caught to effect, baby. All the two of, like they just a witch, it's a witch so hunt. So did you, you ain't get no probation or nothing? They just shot you off, man. Yeah, they told me. You ignored the warning. <laughs> they I, I, told I, I, like, ignored me. Ignored the warning. They nigga. told me, man. But I was like, I told that nigga seven times. <laughs> man, they told me like three, three times is a lot. But no, they were man. I, they needed me. Did mm. they? 
the best band Man, of the I day. Found, right. I found out they did not. You talking about the band that did the New York fucking? <laughs> that nigga said I found out they did not. <laughs> yeah, I, the Almighty side was the cap. That was all right, bro. The oh. only high school band I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> That's been on the cover of USA Today. <laughs> <laughs> they needed Remo, man. They needed me, baby. For a minute. Nah, no, yeah, damn. Yeah. I know that shit was sad, though, wasn't it? It was, it was, it was weird. You know what, what I'm saying? What? But see, the crazy shit is, this is when church kicked in. I went from, like, you know, school shit, mm-hmm. neighborhood, like, you know, park shit, park mm-hmm. mall, all that shit, to church shit. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So this is around when the church kicked in. And so it was like, it was an easy transition. Like, all right, man, I like. I've been in a band. I've been, you know, a few great ceremonies. Right. Stop nice playing the secular and music shit. and get into what? And then now it's time to get to the, you know what I'm saying, the, the choir. <laughs> this nigga gave up to the band the, street. To get to the choir, I, got, I went from the band to the to the. You no, know, this band life is a little bit a little hectic. <laughs> carrying this drum is heavy on my back. I'd rather carry a cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We are really talking about a nigga switching his next curricular activities. From I'm bearing the cross for the see y'all niggas ain't really <laughs> Yo is it. this when I decided Yo, yo. these <laughs> niggas is not feeling the spirit, son. Nah, I loved it, man. <laughs> that was that great, was man. The ministry, son. That's fine. Nah, but uh, No, nah, I was just about to say you got kicked out the most lit high school in the world. <laughs> I ain't getting kicked out. Peak, at so, the peak of the lit, the Diaz was out? Like, you fucking up. I, I left in protest. <laughs> no, because no, they wouldn't let me in the band because they was like, bro, you, bruh, you hey. took your... Because your, you wasn't going to class, bro. Hey, you, know, first, bruh, you have to you're earn at four your lunches. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm spreading the good vibes in the so school. So you got drumline. You bruh, was what like, did, I, what I, did I they, told them I'll show them. What did they call you? What Sweet. did they call you in school? <laughs> He's a spite. You got a little bit My nigga, all right, so I'm going to tell you. What was your nickname? At school? It was Rod, bro. They used to call you Skip. Hey, school, my nigga done brought back Skip. So that's so junior that's, high. School. They used to call him Skip because yeah. he never went to class. So junior high started junior high, baby. You know what I'm saying? Baby, to, like it was you know yeah, no legacy. <laughs> so this is to, trash. So this me is, and my homeboy used to him, like my, I wrote, I wrote me and the my shit I wrote for turn the hallways up. <laughs> I'm gonna let him get it out. Turn the hallways Nigga, up. Nigga, when the bell rung and it was time to cl- switch class, Yo, a show that? was going on in the hallway. Mm-hmm. This is at Chapel Hill. Off me, task. Off That's the name of the group. Fuck, me and goddamn skip. <laughs> Off nigga. task, bro. Here just, come off task. Crazy <laughs> shit, dog. Like, nigga. Oh, man, here come off. <laughs> Yo, come coming to the stage, unsatisfactory. <laughs> Skip in the thing. Coming to the stage, a distraction to your life in the form of two humans. Some real people in the school can't even walk. <laughs> Wheelchair. Nigga, the wheelchair just got a mayor, a, a medal from the mayor. <laughs> He's on this school that can't even really walk. Oh my god! <laughs> the fundraiser for a wheelchair ramp. Yeah, that's Kids when I found assholes. out about detention and in-school suspension. Uh, but yeah, it was just can I? Can I? Can I? Uh, I'm a. I ain't gonna curse Remo out. I'm a back. He's about him to up. maid coach you. I'm a back him up. What up? Got you. The think? reason Remo was skipping class and not going and going to lunch instead of class is because they was making him do shit such as write reports about his favorite fucking song. <laughs> I don't need this shit. <laughs> you kind of do. Let me tell you something. If I grew up right here like that, I would have been out with you, my nigga. My nigga. I would have been in the hallway. I would have probably learned how to dance for real. All kinds hey, of man, shit. Hey, one report does not define the education at Sylvan Hills Middle School. Guys. And let me tell you, bro. We it kind of does. Them. No, because we had niggas on our team who could dunk. So we, <laughs> our, 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 our algebra teacher took a whole group of niggas and um, cause you know how they had like you, oh if you God. were smarter you could be in pre-algebra in like the yeah, eighth yeah. grade or something that like get you ready for high school. That's what you was on, man. Yeah, fuck okay. that. You know what I'm saying? You had to, you had to be like it was like it was like AP, right? Or whatever. Yeah. But she put a whole. She was like, if y'all give these kids a chance, it was like it's a room full of pre-algebra books. Let me just take a regular math class and teach them goddamn pre-algebra. And My nigga. all of us are better than all of my brothers. <laughs> but the nigga, they, they learned. Pre-algebra and but she was a hawk chili. The and we was on inside oh. stuff. So. See, wasn't she? Oh, oh you was on NBA. Inside I was on stuff? NBA inside stuff one time. <laughs> I saw you because your teacher was a hawk chili. She was. That's why she was terrible. 
Wow. No, that's not the same teacher. <laughs> they said that why she was. That bitch was garbage, another, bro. That's the math teacher. Was, was yeah, terrible. Them. She told the other teacher. Yeah, right. she taught them pre-algebra before, bro. Yeah, she, she did. Stand by a, me, shit, nigga. Man. That's a mold. They teach the kids. <laughs> they gonna learn. Yeah. Well, you know they are trying to leave niggas behind. Stand and deliver shit. Not yeah, stand, stand right, and nigga. deliver. Yeah, my bad. Wrong you know man. how I got trained first. Right, I had so geometry in ninth grade. I was when like, the first time you remember doing like pre-algebra, like what grade? Boom. Pre-algebra. Pre-algebra. Probably seventh grade. Seventh grade. Well, it made grade. niggas snooty though. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yeah. <clears throat> was the niggas like, nigga, I'm in pre algebra. What's up? Like that's how. <laughs> that's how I was, was good. As, I was really good at math. Yeah. Child. As a I child, was I was great at math. I mean, all the way through high school. I am uh, supposed to be in magnet and in all the AP classes, but none of my friends were there. I was talking. I was saying that earlier. Finish that story. None of my friends were there, so I fucking never went. So. So come on now, why you ain't go? Because I didn't want to be in there with them weird ass glue eating white kids. What the fuck you mean? It's weird. It's <laughs> weird. No, I went to class, but just not that class. Only black <laughs> I ain't going to lunch. The, in the class. I just went to lunch that one class. It's one class. It's one class. What'd you say? That fourth period, nigga, I'm just gone. You just fuck fourth period altogether every year. I'm just, I'm making it. We, I wasn't there with stream. the only black kid, but when, we, when I moved from uh, like, the South Side, like College Park, to like Lovejoy, nigga, but it was only a few black people. But we had like, nigga, mama got a good tax return. We felt like we had right. made it a little on, bit. Man. But every time it'd be some black shit or something, it'd be like all four of us in the back, nigga. It's just like higher learning. It right. was exactly higher learning, nigga. Like, see this shit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that shit, GPA, none of that shit mean nothing, though, man. I mean, no, nobody really cares. No, I had a three seven and a three eight, and that was like high and shit. But nobody gets wow. Four. Three seven. I had three seven in high school, three eight in college. Nobody yeah. really cares though. Like I don't. I'm not doing nothing with it, but talking. So that shit don't matter, Remo. What was your highest? You don't remember? Uh, probably three six, three seven. Three, six, three, seven three, at three, some three, point, three, three, I was you off know. the charts. Smart. <laughs> How you feeling, sir? Huh. What was yours? You remember? That was 1.6. I'm just there kidding. Was, no, it, was, it was like 3.2. 3.2. Shit. At my freshman year in college, I had like a, I got, I was on probation. I had like a 2.3. Because I only had oh. sex once in high school. <clears throat> so once I got to college, I had, I had uh, caught up. I also, <laughs> I, got, uh, <laughs> I caught up. I also was on academic probation first semester. freshman year. Hell of yeah. College. AP, I think they know it's coming. Like they reserve the it for that. I was on it when I, when I, after I transferred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was on academic probation as well. Or Clark Atlanta University. <laughs> it was like, the, I had to have said, the, I had to have the fucking <laughs> talk with my coach type shit. Oh like, yeah. I'm, that's I'm the, here. that's the fucking pressure part. I was like, oh, no, never mind. I'm going to let me go. You're here to do a job. Yeah, let son. me go. Let me go because I don't want to not who. You're here to do a job. That would son. fucking destroy me. Like, right. Like, like getting kicked off the band. Like, <laughs> kicked <laughs> off the band. I, that, but that's all you do. Yeah, if you've been playing shit. music all your life and you get kicked off the band, come on. No. Yeah. I didn't make it in college but football, I but I, stage, I tried to man. walk on and I was out there like, this ain't for me. That was, that was my whole point. You, you, find, you find entertainment. You know what I'm saying? I could have been chasing. <laughs> Basketball dream forever and ever, but God took my knees away. You know God saying? took my knees so away. Now you got to learn to talk. Oh, well, you get to heaven, God. Yeah. But I think I take your knees away, Yo, boy. Ass, ass, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Told your ass to quit pivoting so goddamn hard. Uh, that's, you gonna that's, quit that on me, my boy? Okay. That's why he brought I, Senior I, Parker I, into your I, life so you yeah. can yeah. see see and what it's really looking like. Now, he ain't got know? no knees. What? Do y'all know that Senior Parker doesn't have knees? Yeah. Oh, I like, did this. So that's real. One of I, you didn't know. I, saw, yeah. I, I heard y'all saying it. I, no, I felt, I realized that maybe I shouldn't have said that after I did. No, no, no. He's a comedian. Yeah, he changed. But he ain't got no knees, y'all. Yeah, he's he's tripping for not talking about that on stage. Like oh, in real life. He because has like it's so, it's, it would explain a lot. He's born without a knee joint. So it's one of his legs is straight. So he sleeps like Pinocchio? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how you keep running. Look, bro. You got to chill. What? Yeah. That nigga sleep on the shelf, my nigga. That's <laughs> <laughs> You're a comedian, man. It's yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, y'all That's did. Great joke. Oh, we're not down on you. It's fucking awesome joke. Oh, so that, that nigga, nigga want to be a like real boy. Nigga. God damn it. On a show. It makes so much sense now. A real boy. Oh, my God. Ah, <laughs> oh, nigga. Shout out that nigga to be on Tyler Lyle. Parker. giving it up. Yeah, man. Yeah. He told his legs didn't He's getting funnier while all my life. That nigga's Come hilarious. <laughs> Y'all, he just no, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. Nah. <laughs> we gonna slow that one down. That was just one I joke see. I liked. 
I see how you try to slap me. I, I told y'all. Yeah. I'm trying to keep the record up, baby. I don't, I told you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, your record is stellar. I mean, one or two, one ain't bad shit. One out of Jason a thousand Weaver motherfuckers. Jason Weaver found Scooter Braun, bro. I got to come on. Wait, I, yeah, what tell me that story? Because crazy enough, I was just watching something else and Scooter Braun had walked up on somebody and they paused it and black said all the shit he, black as fuck, boom. They paused and they said all the shit he did. Yeah, so he, how did that happen? Jason Weaver finds Scooter Braun. He said he introduced him to Tricky. Tricky Stewart is his cousin. Mm -hmm. Tricky and Dream. And I knew Dream from back in the day. And then he said Tricky is his cousin. And uh, Scooter Braun was intern or something. And they kind of. But he was like, yeah, man. I, like he just he just throws out those gems. He's like. White boy just stay in the mix. But Scooter Braun is like one of the most powerful people in the. And he's from Atlanta. Yeah. He went to Emory. But I know Kenny Hamilton and his like right hand man. He's all of them is responsible for Justin Bieber and all like Usher. I think they're all partners and like mm. huge numbers and shit. And Hell yeah, Kenny Hamilton. I met him when he was on the radio in Atlanta, and then hadn't seen him in years. And then I saw him at the radio station. He was like, "Ronnie, what's up?" Wow. Mm. I don't I don't know if that means anything, but like <laughs> if a nigga seen a nigga be funny somewhere and two names, mm. then, that's all they be taking sometimes. That's so. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Right, you gonna be ready, bro. We like you say when we can't cut that motherfucking world I'm back. Trying on. to maximize my time, baby. Like, this shit, yeah. Yeah. people is dying for real. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, in for real, real life, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, they sure. always have been. So you know what I'm saying? That's the crazy part. We should have always been on this shit. That's you know what a, in my in my mind. That's what my <laughs> hope. That's what blessed as fuck means. It's like nigga, people. Like you people, borrow time. If you alive. You are blessed as fuck. Hell yeah. So what the yeah. fuck is the complaining for? That borrowed time shit. Once you get older, you realize what it's talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we got access to so much more than mm -hmm. everybody before us, even if it was a year ago. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, All right. the information is there. You know what I'm saying? This shit would need it. We needed it, man. Reset. It's time. Hell yeah. Tyler Chronicles is on. Got his own network, nigga. That shit is Quarantine. crazy. We on go, baby. Have you ever like? Did you just you ever just black out and get tired? Cause that shit is like, I get tired of hearing my voice. That one time I get, I go on there, man. I'm like, I don't want to hear me no more. Right. Mm. I don't go for that. <laughs> you don't ever want not, not want to hear your own voice. Oh, all the time. Come on, I know that doesn't happen. What? You'll never not what? want to hear yourself. <laughs> like, just I'm not um, talk out loud. Yeah, like you know, as as weird as it sounds, I don't I don't sound to y'all. I don't sound to myself the way I sound to everybody else. Huh? Right. <laughs> what you sound like to you? And then you got a dolphin head, bro. He's saying the echo is oh. coming out different. Niggas <laughs> 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 a porpoise. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. So you don't sound like Darth Vader to yourself? Nah. <laughs> he don't sound like that. Don't sound like a, <laughs> nah. It don't come, this it don't come out like that to me. You, you don't sound like the ladies' man? The ladies' man. The latest. That's one of the best movies. <laughs> yeah, it's underrated. Yeah, there's been a lot of new little movies popping up. New music, new movies. I mean, the baby just came out. The baby. Mm -hmm. Had yeah, is it good? I heard Hadn't it. gave it a listen. It's okay, yeah. man. It's just that same yeah. beat, kind of. For real, still, bro. Them niggas. I told you I gave it, but ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> did you Did you tell me you was rich again? Yo, shit. We got time, baby. They can't, niggas are dying to go to Kroger, man. Come you on, man. Give me something. Hey, maybe he wiping his catalog clean. That man. motherfucking uh, yeah. West Side Gun. Uh, uh, Fucking price of Paris is hard to me. I had I still ain't got into that that uh I just that I bad. like to hear none that. of them. This shit oh, it's hard. It's like it's just like when you Yeah, it's like some, right some shit real on the wall. Hard <laughs> with some forty million films on for no it's reason. New York. Gutter like, fucking crack sale, shoot you in your face shit. Oh yeah. Rick talk. You know what I'm saying? Go to that. Gorilla yeah, that's, I listen to like OJ the juice for that same kind of feeling. Mm-hmm. I could have saw cocaine that week. That week in this time, in 06, nigga would have gave me some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should be in your box, nigga. OJ the fucking juice, man. OJ the juice is underrated. We need an OJ the juice day. Oh, man. Just come Can we make it a day? Entertainment. Can we do OJ the juice day? What mm -hmm. day would you... Because cause vitamin C does help prevent, and it helps your antibodies, right? Like... Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Go with me, Corona. Mm -hmm. Stay at home. OJ the Juice Day. Everybody wear orange. Everybody wear we orange. Just play goddamn old brick squad. 
Because I don't know how much OJ the Juice catalog. Was. <laughs> that's that's why I said, can we go a whole day? That's what I was thinking, Mike. It's going to be half a brick a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. Quarter brick, half a brick. He had some shit, but it's like, oh, it's brick. very specific to It's not like a. No hits. What? Uh, yeah, I, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could do it for an hour. <laughs> I'm not even, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't want to because Gucci man be cussing niggas out on Instagram. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yo, what's up with Gucci man? You know? Gucci done sparked off all the little niggas. Yo. <laughs> they just oh, he started he started up some new shit recently? Yeah, he was on IG Live saying, oh, y'all, these niggas broke talking about me and shit, blah, blah, blah. Y'all niggas, oh, peons and this and that. Like, y'all I niggas ain't got no that. money, blah, blah, blah. Gucci then, was going off. It's just like the little dudes that they signed and talking about. <laughs> They was just, I don't know who was mad at who, but I just like to hear them niggas roast each other. That shit is yeah. so funny. Mm. That nigga said, that nigga uh, got, <laughs> that nigga oh. fashion over my order, but that nigga <laughs> ho, ho out here, bro. Yeah, ho, ho. <laughs> Speaking of, I think the Teddy Riley and uh, Babyface battle is happening as we speak. It's 9 Boom. o'clock already, bro. Oh, it's, run, it's supposed to be 9 o'clock, never mind. Boy, I'm finna get this up out of here. I'm about one. to break. Hey, we're there, Michael Jackson. I'm about to blow, Don. <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan. I said Jackson. You did That's say tomorrow, Jackson. Right? Drops the tomorrow, 19th. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow. I don't think we could. This is one of them things. I don't know if you could talk to Tyler while he, while he watching this, but I would like to have a camera in the room. <laughs> oh, yeah. How are we going to do that? How? Gonna zoom? Turn, your zoom, turn the Zoom yeah, on turn and watch zoom it. Zoom on and watch it. Okay. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch it at the time that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because what time does it come on? I have, I don't know. I've done maybe eight if they're doing oh, a real yeah, premiere. Yeah, watch that shit. Yeah, if they're doing a really premiere, like I said, it's it's changed from the original uh, Boy, uh, premiere. So they came through with that shit. Hell that was yeah. a tweet though. Somebody didn't all them niggas start tweeting that shit. Like maybe. y'all need to drop that goddamn. I started tweeting that shit before this even happened. Like nigga, drop that shit up. earlier, bro. Holla made it up, but I'm telling you, shit. Holla made up the quarantine show. Niggas is out here. Y'all got to pay a percentage. I'm telling you, man. Y'all niggas gonna have to. <laughs> we know getting your promoter bag, Ronnie. We know, nigga. Quarantine network. Who first nigga that put sock with eyeballs in them on Instagram Live? You know. uh, who there, who first person fixed all the uh, big white girls' life? <laughs> white <laughs> girl. Uh, 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 my God, that's hilarious <laughs> as hell. Motivate the queens out here at every cost. At every cost. Somebody at every turn. Motivating the queens, nothing but positivity. But if you do want the smoke, the boy is he got a fight in him. I'm just telling we you. We all that. got the smoke with us, y'all. We yeah, got the smoke. More than culture, it's the motherfucking brand, and you better stop acting like you don't know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming, baby. We. Shout out to O.D. Odell. He said, man, I'll be watching y'all podcasts, and the content... And the uh, the graphic input, I think, is what he said, which don't really make sense, but I knew what he meant. <laughs> uh, the new shit y'all be doing. The uh, y'all got uh, the the shout out to Godhead Digital. Inputs. He said it makes it, it sets us apart from any other podcast. So if you're watching this right now, send this to five people. That's what we gotta start doing. Hey, one, one two, person, three, share four, us five. with your friends. Share. Yo, and shout Smoke out to the um, shit, to the people that's been watching Tyler. Um, live, hell yeah, because yeah. they straight up support all of us. They and every, come on everything that we yeah. tap in. Yeah. Uh, fat little vibe, fat little big vibe, mama Patron bash, girl. big bash, baby mama, yeah what? man, Vina yeah, girl, Jones. Yeah, Patron, Patron Jones is funny, yeah, they, shit, yeah, yeah, he's fucking hilarious. Uh, but yeah, they they, they are every they are real live supporters and yeah, them became like a family and they that fuck with dope. each other, you know, on the side making sure everybody all right. So it became it's but it's more than I thought. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got some people for life on there, baby. I don't know if for you sure. should stop that if you if we come back on. No, I'm not. I can't now. Especially can't the now, first boy. part. Yeah, bro. Babyface Teddy Riley. Who y'all got? Baby I need to face Google. Teddy Riley. To see who I'm going to go with Baby Teddy Riley. Babyface can play his own shit, too. And got I'm going to go with just for niggas of our age. I'm going to go with Teddy Riley. Like the shit he gonna be playing Baby is going to bring it up. It's, it's Baby... going to bring up more nostalgic moments for Baby us. Babyface wrote a lot of shit, though. But so it's about one thing. Oh, okay. catalog. It's catalog. It's they got, I think they get 20. They're going to go crazy. They finna go crazy, bro. I'm just looking forward to hearing all this shit that I didn't know he wrote. That's what I want to hear. All right. Give me the shit I didn't know you wrote, man. That's <laughs> all right. Hey, what if that nigga wrote uh, Lil Wayne's Fireman? <laughs> <laughs> fire, the fire, the fire. I'm getting off live immediately. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's funny as shit. That nigga did do a nice one with Ty Dolla Sign. He could play that goddamn oh, perfect. Man. Nigga, hey, if he plays Ty Dolla Sign first, he'd be disrespectful. <laughs> That's like back, that's like boxing tapping that nigga on the floor. <laughs> Tap you Tap. on your nose, nigga. See what you got, nigga. That's funny as shit. So nine dude. o'clock tonight. So if if I ain't if send it to everybody, man, if y'all watching it. Send it on. I ain't no baby face had a goddamn Instagram. Me either. He probably made one up for the Bruh, night. This nigga is the best. Or using his daughter shit or something. No, nah, I saw it on the shade room and then I saw it everywhere else. Like it was a while ago they were promoting it, but mm. yeah, it's a good night. Yeah, this yeah, might yeah. be the one to get in the car with the lady with or something, man. Get them speakers going. Mm-hmm. Get them speakers Play some going. New Jack Sweet. Shout out to uh, Oscar Awards. We beat the shit out of y'all. Yeah, time. right. Talk about For it. The third time. You guys keep trolling us, and I understand that's what young niggas do, but it is. Hey, it's, man. it's some whole shit. Y'all gonna J make Dukes. me not like y'all. It's very childish. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it's like, nigga, come on. It's so weak. It's so weak. Very weak. Yeah, that shit's so, it's so it's weak, like, man. Come it's on, like, come guys. On, if you want us to repost you, we'll repost you. That's all you gotta add. Like, I like ass. when y'all ignored the ass whooping. You just moved on. But yeah, don't, don't, but don't, don't come yeah, back don't be and out say unequivocally pump and then doing a fake <laughs> Unequivocally. <laughs> Put a poll up that you didn't nobody us, see. Nigga? Don't nobody tap y'all stories, nigga. nigga. Bro, and yeah. people voted. Y'all, and like y'all wrote them goddamn songs, nigga. Shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga played the bridge. Yeah. Like you just saw him pop evolution. Shook one on a New York right. battle, nigga. Come on. <laughs> he was like, yeah, nigga. You, nigga, you was not born with MC Shan. <laughs> It wasn't no nigga like, I ain't seen not a heart drop on that bitch. No, you, I, I was going by the hearts. Mm-hmm. And, and and for the we guys, took computer, votes after each, after yeah. each shit. Bro, the dude computer froze up on Remo in the first round. Let's just Come talk on, about bro. it. He tried to say it don't count, right? Brother, it, it, okay, count. even if it didn't, when they came back, Remo beat Remo him. Remo anyway. beat him again. <laughs> so, which I did, Snap Music. He did Laffy Taffy. And you did, what you did? I forgot. It, that, you won. Fuck it. Yeah, his computer yeah. fucked up. But then they right. came back. I don't even know what the I didn't even know what the, the genre was when they came back. R and B hip hop collapse. collapse. Oh, okay, okay. He smashed them on that shit. Yeah, man. This nigga, that nigga played. What the fuck did he play? Chingy and uh, uh, yeah, it was weak, bro. It was like, what you doing? Whose child is this? Y'all run the Oscar Awards and y'all don't even know music. Nigga, you need to be able to play like a round of spades to get to us. Come on, man. Oh, man. Like we can't be fighting no tomato cans, man. So we tune need... into the more than culture stream war. Yeah, play this battle, nigga. <laughs> Bring your shit. Guy. We gonna throw up a category <laughs> and goddamn it, play your shit, you know and we gonna go by the so hearts. We, it's not an ox court war. It's a Bluetooth battle. Bluetooth Ooh, battles. Bluetooth battle. You see what you did? <laughs> you created. <laughs> you see what you did? You created. Say something. Me and Ronnie have had a. Uh, Pitched around some an idea about a music battle kind of shit, but like you know, Ronnie's deep into the music shit. You know, he's a beat maker. People yeah, that don't know, um, beat maker. He actually, he actually, <laughs> much is not that he good. actually had, a, he actually had a beat. <laughs> he actually had a beat for that uh, Wiz Khalifa and .NET Digital collab that never. Happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wiz and .NET. Oh my god. Oh uh, my. <laughs> he wasn't around. I don't think. What happened? He said he had a collab. My nigga, did we talking about MySpace, right? Oh, I remember. I was <laughs> what the fuck? We all around the table talking about MySpace, and Dot Net is like, man, I don't even like telling people this, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which means I gotta tell these niggas this, right? Right. So <laughs> I gotta tell niggas this. I like telling people this, man, but shit, you know. I had uh, oh, <laughs> put up some shit on, you know, me and Wiz Khalifa used to kind of like comment back and forth on MySpace, you know what I'm saying? Put up my music and shit, and he was fucking with it, man, and shit. You know, we was going back together. We was supposed to do a song together. Mm. But then, man, Black and Yellow came out. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you jump, goddamn. <laughs> that nigga jumped six years. <laughs> That nigga follow me, you know what I'm saying? Got different. But MySpace was goddamn 08. <laughs> why would you tell me? That nigga been off MySpace. That's why he stopped answering you. Then Black and Yellow came out. You, was the old, you and Tom was the only niggas on MySpace Shit, at the time. Black and Yellow came out like 2012, oh, niggas. Oh <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just took off the goddamn. That nigga, that nigga was it bitch. Oh, come in. Shit, man. He didn't even get the timeline Black right. Black and Yellow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's why I don't even like telling him. <laughs> <laughs> 
because it's a goddamn nah, story. The, the black and yellow part is like a joke part, but oh he's, my god, I yeah. thought you were serious. <laughs> like, you know, he's bro, serious nigga. about talking to Wiz oh, on my space. Nigga, I used to hit. Nigga, I talked to the nigga who made the birthday sex beat on my space. <laughs> Jeremiah, no, the nigga who made the beat. <laughs> I was like, oh, this beat is nice. He said, oh, thank you, man. I did this. Man. He ain't get paid yet. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, it was like he had just came. Well, I bet out. you were snapping on MySpace, bro. You was on TV like a motherfucker. Nigga, I, had, I got pictures. I got a lot of pictures from fucking birthday bash. I was I like interviewed everybody. Sierra, yeah. Rick Ross. I was doing Ooh. interviews for Hot 1079. And that's when the niggas had brought them Reeboks back, nigga. Yeah. I had some oh, classic. Man. It was like, like pink and fucking turquoise or some Ooh. shit, bro. Like it was but they are right now. But you know, you like nigga. I remember Fresh this was shit. yeah. This was niggas had wallet chains and goofy shit on. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as a lot of a lot of leather wristbands. Right. That yeah. was purchased in the West End. <laughs> My leather. Yeah, MySpace was fun, nigga. But yeah, Duval yeah. kicked off all that shit, man. I only learned how to do all that shit because, like, when we was on MySpace, that nigga was already on Facebook. When you could only get on there. If you had a College. EU account, yeah. my brother was like, he was in school. He was like, man, this Facebook shit, boy, these hoes on here, boy. Like he yeah. was like, I said, I can't. He said, you gotta have a goddamn college, college shit. You should stay in school. You have <laughs> <laughs> that nigga like, boy, he say these hoes, but I'm just, I'm paraphrasing, but yeah, mm. Facebook. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? What year was that? Mm. Is you, it's, it's your story. <laughs> so I'm saying when Facebook was like, like 2000, early Facebook, probably 2003. Oh, I got on Facebook after all of that shit. Yeah, like Facebook with the college shit was like 2002, 2003. Nigga, MySpace got fun after some things happened. Like once when things happened, bro, that shit just opened up more doors. Maybe like yeah. the, the IG shit go. It's like once you're on projects and shit, mm-hmm. that shit just oh, exposed nigga, you to a big world. Bad Boys County was out, nigga. My MySpace, I got the whole <laughs> shit up. <laughs> My wallpaper, nigga. Yeah. What, nigga? Ruby face, nigga. Hold yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, I know that shit was crazy. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. We did Hell Date, bro. And they made a whole account. And so that shit was a BT in front of everybody. Got a lot of traction for that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, Rima a lot of traction. Was super sassy. Oh my god! I, I bet you was mean to like four niggas that week. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was holding auditions for my assistant. Nah, nah. <laughs> you had an assistant that one time, did you? I always felt like I needed one, but nah. Okay, good. You a real nigga. That's what's yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. You ain't had no assistant. Never, man. That shit still look at me. Yeah. Until I need some help. <laughs> Damn it, I need assistance. Right. Shit. My wife, like, for what? Then? 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 I go to the store again. It's <laughs> another $65 out the yeah, window. I just got to go into the store. I don't know what's up, man. I just get some almond milk. <laughs> you made any friends at the grocery store? Hell no, I don't talk to none of them. I talk to them a little bit, but they every time I go, it's a different group of them. So I think they dying every day. <laughs> Boy, you hell. Never seen the same. I've been going to the same store every day. Man. Them niggas is not like who don't work the same shift. <laughs> That's true, man. Niggas is scared. And they got the plexiglass. Yeah. That girl who I seen complaining about them not letting them wear masks. I ain't seen her no more. <laughs> That's hilarious. She's supposed to tell you that shit. Yeah, rest up, baby. Rest, Rest up, up baby. baby. Hydrate, shit. God with you. All right, man. We about to wrap this shit yeah, up. Man. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. It was good getting in here, risking our lives mm. for a minute, a minute, a video, and a remote text. I appreciate it. Anything for you, bro? I think we're. Fu- hey, nigga, I tried to zoom. I ain't know what was going on. You asked for the zoom request when I was forty minutes in my drive. <laughs> no, I, that was the first thing I text yeah, was meant for like the like zoom two days ago. Yeah. Cause I was like, we, you know, we did a Zoom remote wasn't there. I was like, we should I'm have a pop. I'm glad we came, cause I nigga, I, uh, my Zoom is trash. All my, th- all my technology is terrible. I live in yeah. the woods, nigga. <laughs> like Wi-Fi on or not, it's just right. But my uh, Zoom is cool. I just be trying to be in the car, <laughs> so I can smoke. Real shit, shit. All right, so yeah, we like to uh, end the show with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. Get the people some words of wisdom. Get through the week. Get to the next episode. I am Kamal, Secret Genius. Words of the week of this. Um, I guess this is <laughs> this is for the ladies in theory, but it can be interpreted on a larger scale. Um. <laughs> 
You can't get your whole body done <laughs> and still be in the laundromat. <laughs> that just don't make no goddamn sense. You can <laughs> It's your priorities in order. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with getting your body done, but get you a washer and dryer first. Oh my god! <laughs> nah, so I gotta go to lunch right tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got your body done. You ain't got my your dryer. whole body done. My dryer broke. You can watch. I was like, I know I'm a loser. Oh I man. And that's all I got, man. I just don't like Mexican repair man to come to my house. I'm not there. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. I done missed the appointment so much. Right. <laughs> like, nah, nigga. Get, do a clothesline. Yeah, I, don't, I shouldn't have watched goddamn Narcos first. <laughs> Boarding Culture is the brand. This is the podcast. Come on, Secret Genius. Remo Rod. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan. We out. Boom.